Hello everyone, this is me, Ace Malware, back again with another video. So, just the, the, this, just the title of the video, I was able to finally found the platform, platform that I will do a bounty with. And it is Sinak. Yeah, Sinak. As you can see, I just received the congratulatory email from them and saying, Hey Ian, congratulations on making it through the interview process and welcome to the Sinak White team. Now what I'm planning to do is within one month I'm hoping that I will be able to find my first bug. For now I'm going to try and find my first bug. First my first bounty should come after. But for now my goal is to find my first bug within one month. And next is what I'm trying to do is um, I'm going to tell you also why Sinak why not Hacker One, why not Bograd or any, any other bug bounty platform out there the reason is this one I tried Hacker One and Bograd including integrity but I end up losing motivation in the process I'm considering the reason is I am the type of person that value the thing I have if I work hard for it. Since since hacker one background and integrity just allow me to register without doing anything or without any filtering process, I tend to lose motivation while doing it. Now since you now have this process where in in order to be part of the Sinak Red team, you have to make it to the technical assessment, interview process, and the background check. Since I was able to pass those three, I think I might be able to value Sinak as a whole. Now, now that I'm part of Sinak, I'm going to review their whole process. I'm not going to tell you what exactly those, but what I'm going to tell you is the technical assessment is is good. I'm considering it is good. So if you have any experience doing web application penetration testing or bug bounty hunting, it will be easy for you. And also the interview process. It's my first time doing interview with a foreigner since I'm from. Philippines and I have never conducted an interview with a foreigner so I'm kind of nervous at first but I don't know if it's okay to tell me how their interview process but um, it's direct to the point you don't you you won't be that nervous or it's an easy way and you can answer the interview question easily the background check is it's good also and it doesn't take longer than I thought. I thought it will take me about one month but it, it, the result of the background check the background check came back after I believe five, five days. Yes and then the whole process of my Synac application from application to this congratulatory email takes about two months so why two months <laughs> based on what I said it just I believe took only something between one month but the reason it took two months is from my application I waited five days I believe before I get their response that they received my email and then on that email is Hi Ian, unfortunately, we don't have any slot for now, something like that. So I thought, man, I get you rejected. Then after like 20 to 30 days, I received another email from Synac. They informed me that they are going to, or they are asking me to do the technical assessment. And then I was able to pass it, create a report, then 
I was invited to do the interview. I want to tell you what exactly the content of the Synacred team, but the Synacred team assessment, but since it's, I believe it's confidential, I, uh, I'd rather keep it on me or keep it as a secret. But just a disclaimer, it's not that easy nor that hard if you have enough knowledge as a bug bounty and also if you are able to do a pen test or have done OSCP, I think it would be easy for you. Then the interview process, after that, it was, uh, like I said, it's my first time doing interview with a foreigner. And then, it's not that, like I said, uh, the interview is not that hard. And it's not that easy. Uh, the question is right. The question is easily un or answerable. So, you don't get nervous. Just keep calm and you can do it. The background check after that. As long as you have all the documents they ask, it will be easy also. Then, here, if you manage to do everything, you get this congratulatory email from Sindhak. And to be honest, I waited two years, two years to be part of the Sindhak Red Team. The reason is, the reason I waited for two years is because when I heard Sindhak back then, I was not into security. I I mean I mean I'm already wanted to secure to be a security or, or the pen tester, but I'm not that good enough. I'm still trying to get a foundation with network and system, and also programming. Then given that I was and then after that I studied, do everything, and now I've already set my goal that in this year or in the next year. I will be able to be part of the Sinak. Luckily, I made it. I made it through the process, and now I'm a Sinak, and proud to be Sinak Red Team. Although it's just my first day doing the Sinak, and I'm still proud that I was able to pass the filtering process of Sinak. So everyone who wanted to be a Sinak Red Team, I'll share the link on my description, and then just try, give it a try, and if you manage to. We, if, it, if you manage to get to the technical assessment, do your best. You, uh, opportunity comes once. So just try it hard, try your best, and try harder. That's it, guys. Uh, I hope I was able to share you some information, and I'll be giving you a feedback. If I was, I mean, up the update, if I was able to find my first bug on the Sinak platform within 30 days. Another disclaimer, I'm not good, so I'm just trying to set a goal that I'll be able to find my first bug within the 30 days. Hopefully, I'll be able to do so. So, thank you and bye-bye.